Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tour review is going to be a Milwaukee Air Tip product. I haven't bought one of these in quite some time, but there for a while when they first came out, I was buying them, you know, like crazy. I bought their flexible hoses, several of their nozzles, several of their brushes. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I really like them all so far. There's not any of them that, you know, I don't like. Now, whether or not they're worth the price for them or not, compared to if you can find one that's some other cheaper brand, because ultimately they're just a vacuum attachment. But so far, all of them have worked really well. Uh, this one here is the Dust Collector, something that I had kind of had my eye on since the beginning whenever they first came out. This is 4990 2022, and just like all the other ones, uh, it fits those three different hose sizes there. You know, it's got this same type of fitting on it where you can fit one inside, one outside, and one inside. So whatever vacuum you have, it's going to work. It's not just a Milwaukee product and the way this thing works is their pictures pretty much shows it exactly how I use it It sucks to the wall allows you to basically make your cuts or something like that And collects all that debris and saves you from having to clean up that mess later because most of us You know, we like to take our shop vac hose And we like to hold it in one hand and then sit there and make a cut or something with the other And that's exactly how that happened. My little grinder wheel got away from me uh, one day and took a little chip out of there not a big deal I could easily even just fix that by cutting it back just a hair but you know that's those kinds of things can happen whenever you do that and then not only that you holding a tool with one hand is never as safe also doesn't give you as much precision uh, so again if you can take away that to where you can have the vacuum hold itself you know that's a, that's an advantage so I've been wanting to get this. I hadn't purchased it for two main reasons, really. One is I already have this, the extra hand. I bought this based on an ad on Facebook several years ago. Works really well. I really like it. It's mostly for drilling holes. So if you have a hole saw or, you know, just regular drill bits and you're drilling into concrete or drywall, this same exact thing seals off to the wall with the vacuum and you can uh, collect all that debris works really well have no issues with it except for the size of it I like the size of it that it doesn't take up a lot of room in my truck But there's certain things whenever you get into doing like a cut-in box you can see here, you know It's right on the cusp of being just a hair too big your lines are going to be right on the outside of it So you might have to move it over and cut one line move it over and cut a line You know in order to get the most you know efficiency out of the dust collection that's what you got to do with this. So, again, I kind of wanted this one, but then the price was, you know, just 50 bucks. That's, that's a little high to me to buy something like that. But, again, that's all relative to what do you do for a living. If, if you do nothing but go around and cut in boxes and things like that and you're cutting in drywall all day long, or even if you're sanding a patch, you know, you can put this down below and sand because it makes a world of difference. I'll just be honest with you. If, if you... If your customer walks in and sees you drilling a hole or sanding a patch in their home and their finished space and you've got this sucked to the wall underneath of it or, or one of these, you know, they're going to think a lot more highly of, of you and think, man, this, this person really cares about making sure he doesn't have dust all over my house. They really appreciate it and it goes a long way with their perspective towards you as a contractor or a handyman or a tradesperson, whatever you are, it goes a long way with the customer. It's always going to help you get that repeat business. Uh, so again, the price on this, little iffy on it, and then the fact that I already had something that kind of did it. And then the thing that really was interesting to me or really was concerning to me, I guess I can say, is I wasn't sure that it would work with my battery-powered vacuum because that's really the only one I carry with me daily. You know, I'll take my battery or my plug-in ones if I'm doing jobs where I know I'm going to do a lot of, you know, dust collection or a lot of cleanup or something like that. I don't use this for that. This is more of a just going in for one specific thing type vacuum. And that vacuum works well with this, uh, but, you know, this doesn't have a lot of surface area that it has to suck up and hold on to the wall. So I was a little curious how, you know, that's quite a bit of difference in the size to be able to create a seal with that and then also still be able to suck in debris. I didn't know if it would work with this vacuum and if it wouldn't, then that was going to be kind of the thing for me because this is the thing I want to carry in somebody's house just to do something quick, cut in a box, sand a patch, whatever it is. So if it wouldn't work with that, it's not going to be as useful to me and I definitely wouldn't spend $50 on it. So, but again, the size comparison though, you get 
roughly about nine and a half inches wide and about three inches deep of a trough for you to be able to catch stuff in. So again, if you're doing a cut in box, something like that, you could easily fit, you know, a two gang in there, or you could even put one horizontal. Or again, if you're doing a small patch of, of some kind of drywall and you're going in sanding it, that's going to work for that. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and answer. I'm going to put it to use and I'm going to show you, show it to you in use. I'm going to show it to you with my Festool vacuum and I'm also going to show it to you with the Packout uh, vacuum. So again, it doesn't have to be a Milwaukee vacuum. It doesn't have to be a Packout vacuum. I'm just going to answer, try to answer the question of does the battery powered one have enough oomph to suck this to the wall and still be able to catch debris, you know, like a corded version might would because maybe that's a question that you've asked yourself before you want to go out and buy that. So let me go ahead and get things set up and then we'll put this to use and see, what, see how it all pans out. So we're going to start with the pack out vacuum. I have a six amp hour battery in here, high output. I'm going to put it on high setting. Again, you see it just slides right into it there. So that's what size hose this one fits on that inner hose. We'll see if it has enough suction to suck it to the wall. Also, does it have enough suction to suck the actual debris in? I'm not going to do any kind of fancy cut. I'm just going to go to town cutting slots into this drywall, uh, not cutting anything in particular. It's just here on the workbench. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me while it's running. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you all that now, but let's go ahead and turn it on and see what we got. Definitely enough power to suck it onto the wall. I even have to pull on it quite significantly to pull it off. It's on there fairly well. I mean, I, I can't just break it free. I have to kind of grab a hold and pull. Plenty of power to do that. Now let's go ahead and zoom in, see how it cuts. So you can see it does a fairly decent job of catching the debris. Uh, you do see I have a little bit down here, uh, but it did catch a lot. I mean, it would have been a, definitely a lot more than that. Uh, you can see I have some still here in the trough that, you know, after you unsuck it, you can sit there and just move that and shake it and it will all fall down in there. I think where this is coming from is that that lip actually, if you don't have a, there's a small lip right there. So some of it falls down and gets on here and basically, that wasn't there until I turned the vacuum off and then I pulled this away from the wall. That fell from here down to there. So that's kind of a bad bad deal on that. But again, it catches a lot more than obviously it would have if I didn't have it on there. But it would be nice if I didn't have any right there. So that's, that's, that's part of it. So is that because the pack out doesn't have enough suction maybe to compress this enough? I don't know. So let's go ahead and hook up the Festool vacuum. I'll cut it over here. We'll see if it makes any difference. All right, guys, so here's the Festool. I have the CT26. I'm going to put it up on the highest uh, as far as the speed setting. We're going to get it turned on. I'm going to do the same exact thing. We'll look down below, see if there's any difference between the two. Uh, so I'm going to get this pulled off to the side.
So you can see with the fest hole, I don't have any debris left in here. I don't even have to do that shake to get it to go down into the hole. I also don't have any of the debris down there as well. So it makes a difference using a more powerful vacuum. I also have a two inch hose, which I have the option to do that here on this fest tool versus on the pack out. I'm stuck with the hose that comes on it. So is it the pack out vacuum that's causing it not to suck enough against the wall that leaves this small little ridge to allow debris to get up into here possibly could be it so that's... i'm gonna go ahead and do one more test with the pack out back just to make sure it wasn't some kind of a user error i'm gonna put it over here we'll see if i get the same same exact issue two times in a row <laughs> I have no debris down there right now. And then now as I move that off, I'm still, I got just a little bit that fell down there from up in here. So same thing with the pack out twice. So again, that's way better obviously than if all that would have fell down. So I'm still gonna call it a win. But again, hopefully that answers the question of will a battery powered vacuum. So again, you might not have the fuel pack out. You might have another one. You might have a different brand. Will it suck? it to the wall mine will again your vacuum might be more powerful less powerful might not do it might do it better who knows does it do it a hundred percent as well as a corded vacuum it doesn't appear to be so just in the little bit that i've used it but it's better than nothing i, I would 10 times take that right there over all that going onto the floor and then me having to try to clean that up and i like the ability because if i held this up here and did that i'm definitely going to get some of it but I would have a lot more of that down there and I'm operating my tool with one hand. I don't get the precision that I want, even though I wasn't doing precision, obviously here. Uh, I don't have the option to be able to, you know, really get in there and, and get the cut exactly where I want it because I'm trying to do it with one hand and I have to pay attention to my vacuum hand and all those things. So yeah, guys, that's the Milwaukee air tip dust collector, part number 49, 90, Uh, I think it's a good product. It worked really well, especially with my Festool vacuum. But again, if you're somebody who all you're doing is drilling holes, you can obviously go with something smaller. This this thing works fantastic. I know there's a lot of other versions out there. Festool even has one. Uh, one downside to this one is, you know, you obviously have to have the right size either hose or you have to have an adapter or something like that to go with it. That's one thing that I really like about all the air tips is that basically they'll work on about anything that you've got but again obviously this is a lot bigger so this is for someone who who's going to cut out a bigger hole or sand a patch or something like that if that's something you do you might want to look into something like this and hopefully i helped you answer the question maybe you've got a battery powered vacuum and you're like me and i'm like man that is a big old hole that that's gonna get enough suction to hold that to the wall i'm not sure if i'm not sure if this will do it well, it, it does it. It holds to the wall fine. I, it's even hard to pull off, uh, but you're obviously not going to get the same amount of suction as what you're going to get with a bigger corded vacuum. So will it do it? And is it better than nothing? Absolutely it is. But again, that price tag, a little steep, but just depends on how much you could use something like this because time is money and perception is money with the customer as well like i said they'll always appreciate you trying to keep dust from going all over their house so let me know what you think about it if you've got it or if you've got certain vacuums that you've used it on and it works great put that in the comments below so that if people are looking and they've got a certain vacuum and they're wondering i wonder how well it works with that vacuum leave a comment below that's always helpful to people but hope it was useful in some way you guys stay safe have a blessed day and i'll see you on the next video